people think it's easy. Waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, go get some shots up. That's dedication. What are you gonna do when the person you're going against is at home sleeping? You hungry enough to go get it? Or are you just gonna stay in bed? Coaching Arias these past two seasons has been fantastic. It's something we've talked about since he was a little kid in third grade and I was coaching his brother Michael. You know, see him grow up and be able to coach him now at the high school level and, and help him become the player that he is today. It's a fantastic feeling. And the sky's the limit as long as he keeps working, he keeps his head down and he keeps grinding.
different floors for different bars. Different tours on different jets, my nigga saw. Different city with different bitches and different hearts. Sometimes I look in the mirror and meet Millie, this your car. Look at your arm, check out your neck, look at your jaw. And the thing my nigga started off with cooking raw. When it was hard, the coach told me to get the ball. I stepped back for the three, watch it go switching far. And that was AM1, they thinking how we get this far. We was just down by three and they thought First dub, the day tournament. Coming to practice hard. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. CCRI. I'm a tough, but definitely got the weapons to do it. No. What time is it, boy? Let him know. We out here grinding. Man, my little brother Arius, you know, the kid works real hard. I remember him being three years old when he told me when he grows up he wants to go to the NBA. So I remember taking him outside and he started working. But we didn't know the hoop, so we was always practicing and dribbling. You know, we always did tennis ball drills and things like that, but I feel what separates Ari from others is his IQ and his love for the game. You know, rarely this kid will have two bad games in a row, you know? Or he'll rarely have a, a game where he, he, he has a lot of turnovers, you know? He's always working. Sometimes we wake up at like 4 or 5 in the morning and go to the gym so we can get his shots up right before school you know he really is always trying to get better and as long as he keeps that mentality i truly believe the sky's the limit oh it's so evidential like the clear poor customs i barely show my credentials I hope you learn to make it on your own And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone I hope that you get everything you want and that you chose I hope that it's the realest thing that you ever know Hope you get the pretty girls that's pretty at everything Million dollar cribs having million dollar dreams And when you get it all just remember one thing Remember one thing That one man could change the world uh. One man could change the world All I, all I wanted was a hundred million dollars and a bad chick Imagine this a Muslim nice and felt like that I had it Back on the mattress, staring at the ceiling, try to connect the dots But it's all making those attachments I'm talking dreaming so hard, some nice and felt like draft day this year, making it to the state tournament, it was a blessing with my teammates. It was something I haven't been accomplished in the past 10 years at Grand Cities. Losing to the number one team in the state, Bishop Hendrick and in the Elite Eight, it gave me a different mentality for the next year to grind harder. It made me realize how much work my teammates and I have to do in order to become state champions for next season. From this moment on, I am no longer satisfied with the accomplishments I've made as an individual at Grand Sinise. All I want to do is to bring the state championship home to my city. I hope that you get everything you want and that you chose I hope and it's the realest thing that you ever know Hope you get the pretty girls, it's pretty and everything Million dollars